Good morning. Hi, Arlene. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is Mary at the Mary Atelier, and today is April 29th, 2020. And it's time to get up and do some art. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I need to pick up where I left off yesterday. I made some iced coffee this morning. Mmm. It tastes good. It tastes good. I have a little clippy clip here this morning. Hmm. I'm going to use that. Oh, where do I start? Good morning. My calendar is, page is already done, except for I think I want to put one of those roses on it. What did I do with those? Right here. Let's put one of these on it. This is pretty dark. This is one that I did from last year. Let's see, I got September 4th done, too. I was just messing around on September 4th. So let's just get this glue sticker and put her on there. Let's set this over here. What does that go to? Iced coffee is awesome. Hi, Clam Musho. Good morning. <laughs> How are you this morning? Clam bushel. Sounds like you might be from a nor'eastern person. Where are you? Bushel and clams. <laughs> All righty, there we go. Say good morning, Clam. <laughs> we like to talk to people who come in to hear. This was yesterday's Never Grow a Wishbone Without Your Back, Where Your Background Ought to Be. Let me zoom in just a teeny bit. Oh, you're Cindy and you live in Singapore. Good morning, Cindy in Singapore. Nice to have you join us. For goodness sakes. For goodness sakes. Well, I'm just getting started this morning. I usually start by working in this calendar that I'm altering. This is a 1993 calendar that has farmer wisdom on it. I'm from the Midwest. So it has all these farm sayings like, it's surely good to take things as they come if you can handle them that way. Let's see, what else? Assumption is the mother of a screw-up. <laughs> oh, dear. I've been going pretty good in this. The Let's see, let's go back to some of these days I missed here in April. I missed a few days. Well, let's get back here. To, ooh, I missed quite a few days, didn't I? From April 17th, I think I was going pretty good before then. That's pretty good. It's not work that kills men, it's worry. Worry is the rust upon the blade. Worry, worry, worry. And this one says, so often we seek a change in our condition instead of what we need. A change in our attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are seldom what they seem. Skim milk masquerades cream. Masquerades cream. It looks like you have some interesting videos on your channel. Hi, Nancy. Clam as in Cindy Lee and Alex Michael. Oh, okay. Well, welcome. Good morning, Nancy. 
you don't have a YouTube channel. Hi, Rhonda. Boy, isn't that a lot of truth. A lot of attitudes need to work these days. That's right. My attitude sometimes needs a little work every now and then. Let's see. And then, you know, the hardest part is, is when your attitude needs the most work is when you aren't likely to do it. <laughs> you know, when you're, when you're, when you're goofy and have a bad attitude, you don't want to hear that you have a bad attitude. <laughs> Uh -oh. You don't want to hear it. You want to be crabby. Bitch about it. <laughs> yeah. Just get a little color smeared on here. Seldom is, things are seldom what they seem. I'll see if I can't uh, get a little swish of, of water here. What happened to my squirt thingy bobber here? Let's just put a. Let's see if I can lift a little of this. Yeah. There we go. Okie dokie. Now, um, let's look at these fussy cuts. See if I have something in here. I was fussy cutting the other day. These are, I think these are larger ones, though. But I might have thrown in a couple smaller ones from yesterday. Here, I got the White Horse Tavern. <laughs> got some eyes. Got an eye. I want these larger things in here. There's another eye peeking out. Now, here. We don't need da -da -da. swan. And what else do I have in here that I cut out? Pure whole dried eggs. I don't know if I want to put that on there. The guy's got me cutting facial features out. Well, not you, but the uh, um, Pablo Picasso people. What do I have? These? I think these are all larger fussy cuts. But I'll just pull some out. These are gun, gun. I don't know why I saved the the lot World War Two ones. Here's a clock one. This is from the history book. Keep it cool. Coolidge. Campbell soup. Here's a pair of those fancy eyeglasses. I kind of like those. I'll put that there and that there. And let's see what else I have. These are all, I think, too large for my... I cut a gnome out. Wrap your troubles in your dreams. Oh, radio. I'm not going to spend all morning. Just half of it. Come on. So, 
all the little ones go down to the bottom. Let's just pull them out. I can put them back here. And yeah, I've been fussy cutting. This this was a history book, and a lot of these, a lot of the well, not the most recent ones. I cut up a Martha Stewart, but a lot of these are from a history book, and uh, I hit those war chapters. This is our perfect. What does this one say? Make do or what do without. Here are some more gnomes. I like the gnomes on there. Uh, we'll do those. But see, I get all these fussy cuts. Mm, I've got a big old... And they hold on to each other. I need to get these in my big book. Isn't that cool? I came out of a history book. This is a memo thing. I forget what I have here. So I go rifling through it all. Those are book things. Eyes. Mother Goose Belt. We're in a Tim Tim. Yeah. I don't need any of that. One thing about fussy cutting out of history books is you get these war these war things. You get a lot of history stuff. Alright, that's enough, Mary. Let's put these away. Once I got down to the little ones, huh? Let's put the little ones up on top. I'm going to take all of these and start putting them on my, in my little wax paper book. That's another project I need to get done. Because I want to look at these things and I have to get them all out like this. Boy, I've got piles of them. I've got two or three packages like this. And if I put them in those on those wax paper pages, it's so much easier to thumb through them. Now I'll show you what I mean here. You guys know. You guys have seen it. Doo, 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 doo. I should start doing that this morning. Yeah, I got out these. I'll put them over here and use them another day. I'm gonna put my my gnomes on here. So often we seek a change in our condition instead of what? Ooh, that attitude thing. It's not work that carry it kills men. It's worry. Worry is the rust upon the blade. Let's do the gnome. Let's do the gnome and the and the ladies on a separate page. And let's put this. Let's put this eye on here. Show them what they seem. And the eyes. The eyeglasses. The eyeglasses up here. Like that. Except I need something else on there. I'm not liking that. I need... I need a brush of white here. Just finished an emu. Can see it on my Instagram at Cindy Lee Bushel. Oh, thank you, Cindy. And welcome, welcome. Let's put some white. And you've only started sharing. Well, thank you for sharing. Let's see. Arlene says, what are you working on today? Rhonda, do you use Chrome? Let's see. 
Cindy, there are nice videos when I click on you, like swimming and stuff. There's an eye, and we're going to put these eyeglasses on her with the glue stick, Mary, with the glue stick. Put these eyeglasses on her. And we're going to put this swan over here. That was April 20th. <sighs> I feel like I need a, a mark around it. Yeah, that's good enough. Just get some stuff on it. Take a rest. This is one that I saw when I was not, not uh, last week. Take a rest. A field that has rested gives a beautiful crop. Ovid. Except these don't fit on there so well. Let's see what we'll find one that they fit on. Every kind of service becomes necessary to the public becomes honorable by being necessary. Nathan Hale. I'm not sure these are going to fit in here. And this one could fit over here, I guess. My two little gnomes. Their little hats will be sticking up. Or I could split them. I like that. Let's put them on there. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll get these back again. And what do I have? What do I have? Lots of stuff on my desk that needs sorting out. All these ink pens. I haven't put them away. I need to. Um, I need to sort out the ones that are going dry. I use them a lot on acrylic paint, and that's not good for them. But these Pen Plus gears work pretty good on acrylic paint. We'll put a little water on that. Get a little color in the background is all I'm after. And let's put her up here just because I need something up there. And I need to use these things. I need to use them. I'm going to put this little gnome over here. No, we're going to put him down here. Yeah. Put this little guy right in here. And this one's going to go right here. Um, 
right in there. Now, I need something else on there. Of course, when you want a scrap, you can't find one. <laughs> Here's a scrappy scrap. I should have put that on first. Fits. That fits. We'll just Got one more little piece here. Where shall I put that? Up here? Why not? I'm just using bits and pieces that are around here. There we go. I did, what, two pages today? Three? Two. And I glued on to the third one. Let's get these off my desk. Again. sure the lid is on that every kind of service necessary to the public becomes honorable by being necessary okay it is no coincidence this man's best friend cannot talk <laughs> so i got a few in here i need to work on this was yesterday's never grow a wishbone when your backbone where your backbone ought to be and this was today's prosperity is not without fears and distress and adversity is not without comfort and hopes. Now let's just put my calendar up over here. So I went to Walmart yesterday to see what was there. And what did I do with them? I got these things I want to... I didn't buy this. I've had this for a while. What did I do with my... Any bothers. How can I get stuff out, get ready to work, and then not find what I want because I put it aside? Grr! I had it in my hands not more than three minutes ago. Where did that go off to? It's not in my waste basket. It's not there. Did it did it fall already? Come on, Mary. Here it is. I got this flower mold thing in the cake decorating aisle. I just happened to notice it. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna try to put model magic in here. And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. make some little floral embellishments. It's got little plastic thing and well there's hookers on there. There we go. And I've had this model magic around for a while. And I don't think I want a whole lot of it out. I guess I'm going to have to open it more than what I thought, though. 
you don't want this to dry out in the air. Let's just push model magic in there. Uh, I don't want to fill this completely because I don't want a big, huge, thick flower. Let's see, just get an idea of what it might look like here. Something like that. Now I'm going to put it back in here and let it dry. I'll just set these aside and let them dry. And tomorrow we'll look at them. A little pinch one here. So I hope everybody is doing well. Look at my chat here while I'm working. Hi, Nashua. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Mary, too. Good morning, good morning. I'm so glad she said it had plastic things because I just knew she was going to use her good scissors on the staples. <laughs> Old scissors. Old scissors. Old studio scissors probably have been used on staples, come to think of it. <laughs> yep, Roo. Yeah, there were little plastic tag things holding that onto that cardboard. Staples would have done just wet as well. Maybe they were plastic staples. Now push this in there. I don't want these filled clear to the top because I don't want really thick embellishments. A little, I don't know if that'll uh, it's okay. Let's if I can pop that one. I could probably take them out like this and let them air dry. I think I'll let that one. Whoops. Let's just let these air dry. I'll put them aside. See what this one comes out as before it even this one's gonna be kind of thin in there. This one's not ready to come out. Let's push some more in there. Let's 
kind of cool. We'll just do some little flower embellishments here. I just happened to walk down that aisle at Walmart. And I have to tell you, I walked down the art aisle, all the craft paint was gone. All the craft paint was gone. I might use all of this. Let's just keep making flowers today. I don't want this to dry up on me. I got this when I was doing Pierre. And it's about time I use some of this stuff. It's about time I use some of this stuff. So let's just use it. Make flowers till we're sick of making flowers. Hi, Jersey. Hi, Janet. Welcome, ladies. Mary Two's in here. Rhonda came in. Clam is in here. I love hearing your thought processes. <laughs> At 4.30 in the morning, they're probably <laughs> pretty amusing, huh? Probably pretty amusing at 4.30 in the morning. This is Model Magic by Crayola. That I'm using, Model Magic. Perfect for, for slime, it says. Reuse or air dry. No messy crumbling. A soft, squishy modeling material. It cost me $5. I probably got it at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I did. Hobby Lobby. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a couple months. They are closed. Closed. Yeah, I had to go to the bank yesterday because I got end-of-the-month bills to pay. So, I didn't do much. I got a few groceries. I went to Walmart. And I got some gas. It was windy here yesterday. Oh, my goodness, was it windy. And the farmers, the farmers were working out in the fields. And I'll tell you, it looked like with the wind going 35, 40 miles an hour and those farmers plowing up their fields, it looked like the 1930s Dust Bowl. <laughs> I mean, big. I almost imagined what it might have been like in those big dust clouds in the 1930s. Big clouds of dust. But you would, like driving down the highway, when, when the farmer was plowing out in the field and you'd pass his field, you'd pass, you'd go through this cloud of dust. And then you'd get on the other side and it'd be okay, but as you were driving through it, you almost felt like, goodness, goodness. <laughs> Am I going back in history? What it must have been like back in the 1930s when they had those big dust bowls and they didn't have all the conservation and they had the drought to deal with and they would have grasshoppers and dry weather and the Depression, oh, what a time that must have been for them. What a time that must have been. Yep, I'm just going to make flowers this morning, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear. Because I, I want to use this stuff up. Y'all should check out Cindy Clem Bushel's Instagram. There's neat art there. I need to get Instagram 
loaded on this tab, tablet, so I can go look at that stuff. Some neat art from Cindy. Cindy said she's from Singapore. Stuff that one in there. What I like about this is how easy it just molds in there. It's really a clean, and when these dry, they are. Um, they're so light; they're not heavy. Let's see, I have these. What did I do with them? I have these that I made with... Uh, let's see if I can open it here. With those wax seals. I put them in here. Now I can't, can't get it open. Yeah. Oh, I know. I painted them. Let's... They were just numbers. Zero, five, three, ten, nine. I need to paint around the edges, but they're... Now, these are dry. This is the number one. It's a little squishy, but it's not too bad. And I could just color along the edge here. Let's see if I can hold my hand still enough to color it around the edge. What I like about them is how light and airy they are. I'm not going to do all of these this morning. I was just doing an example. I'm going to get these out another day and do all the edges up. So today is Wednesday. Dee Dee will be on later. I'm going to try to catch her this morning. I, I, um, been missing all my favorite channels. I'm going to glue this on. Let's glue this on here. Go to one of these that doesn't have much on it. April. Let's put the number one here. Oh, my tacky glue. We'll just put a dab of tacky glue on it if I can. Hmm. 
one I just, well, it's got a, yeah. Of course it's all stopped up. Got a plug in it. I don't need much. I just need a dab. Come on. Come on, a little more. There we go. Number one. Yeah, we'll just leave that on there just to for the fun of it. Uh, this tacky glue, I need to start storing it upside down. That means I need to go get a jelly jar. It isn't like I don't have jelly jars. What was I doing here? No, I was putting this one in. Yeah, I kept the what specks in my although it probably wouldn't hurt it. This one's full up to the top after I said I didn't want it full up to the top. Let's smish it down again. Wow, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to get a good imprint. You can buy little packages of this model magic at the Dollar General. You may get an ounce of it. You may get something about like that, which is okay if you just want a little. <laughs> um, you could make your own paper clay. I've done that before. It's not the same as this model magic. Haven't done that for a long time. You can make clay out of play dough out of flour and cornstarch, cornstarch and water. You got to be careful with that if you got mice around though. Doing the natural stuff. I know one time I carved an apple hot head doll, and I was down at my mom's house, and. Uh, I woke up one morning and a little mouse had come and chewed the nose off of my head, my apple head doll. <laughs> oh dear. Got a little. All right. We got enough for one more, I think. Let's let's take these out. Let's let's start with what? Did I start over here? Let's see what's let's see if I can get these out. Oh, I'm loving these. I am loving them. I love how they just pop out. This way.
Oops, this one's got a little, I don't think that matters. So that one's a little thin. Not some little holes in it, but that's okay. Kangaroo Babe. We've been ill over the past year or so, which hasn't helped. Now I can't seem to get started again. Here's the thing. If you're talking about getting started with art, do something small and easy. Even if it's a doodle. Do a doodle. Um, maybe fussy cut. If you like fussy cutting. If you don't like fussy cutting. Um, if you like. I don't know what, you like, what your interests are. But whatever your interests are, start small. If it's watercolor, just do a little, a small watercolor or a small painting. You don't have to, don't try to do a masterpiece. Or, uh, you know, I, I find that when I get, I don't often, I, I'm the type of person that just gets inspired and I want to do it all. So I don't have that problem as much as other people do. But when I do have it, you know, I just do little stuff. Don't expect too much out of yourself. That's Mary's advice. <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe just spend five or ten minutes doing something. And don't expect a masterpiece. Maybe the next day come back and do something else. Hi, Julie. I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. Um, I haven't heard how things are going as far as my sister-in-law's father was in a car accident. I'm kind of holding off on calling her too much because I know she's under a lot of stress. And I don't want to stress her out more. <laughs> so... I thought I'd wait and see if she'd call me. And then if she doesn't call me in the next couple of days, I'm just going to send her a little text and say, how are you? Three words. How are you? Or how you doing? But they've been under a lot of stress the last couple of weeks. And it's not really necessary that I bug her all the time. She, she works, so she's got a lot on her plate, but I'm doing pretty good personally. Um, resting. Here's the other thing. If you've been doing a lot of art, and sometimes you need to take a break. Sometimes you need that break. Boy, I, I love how this just models right down in here. It just pushes right down in there and it gets an impression really, really good. Let's try something else. Let's see. Let's see if I could get something here. I don't know what I have, but maybe something in here might work. And uh, let's see, what else did I want? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Well, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to put my hands on them right away. I don't want to go hunting while I'm online, so we'll just swish around. I've been kind of waiting to see if Cheryl comes in later. She usually comes in a little bit later. I got her happy mail yesterday. Let's set this aside for a minute and see if I can find something in here to model this stuff around and see if I can't get some textures. Here's my other little turtle. Um, this has got something stuck on it. This one is not as cute as the other one, but he's still kind of cute. The one that I put on that. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, stuck on there. He's cute. He's got a leather base. Now, I want to see if I can find... Let me 
this might work. Charm bracelet. That's pretty. Let's get a Let's try. Let's try this. This has got a let's take this one out too. Put these others back for now. All these bitsy pieces. Somebody twisted a piece together here. I just want something to experiment with. Bitsy bitsy pieces. All right. Let's put that like that. I want to see what will happen if I take some of this model magic and just kind of press it to see if I can't get a... Well, I get something, but it's... Uh, I guess it could be called texture. Oh, it's almost too much. Let's see what happens if I do it on this. can get it to lay flat. It doesn't want to lay too flat. Ooh, I kind of like that. you guys can see that or not. I'm lagging. It says I'm live, but I'm really lagging in here. It's kind of interesting. I like that. This I didn't like so much. It was textury. But let's uh, take a piece here and just. I've got other jewelry. I'll have to hunt out and see what I have. These are hearts and hearts, all hearts. This is a heart charm bracelet. Hearts, 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 hearts. You're debossing it rather than, or embossing it, I guess. All right, that's enough of that. I just wanted to experiment. I don't know what I dropped on here. Some sort of a, I don't know. I guess it's a thick paint. Yeah, let's see what this one looks like. Let's take a little piece and press on it. Ooh. Come on. That's kind of cool. If you're looking for texture, make some little pieces. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I'll have to remember that. All right. I was, I'm done playing. Let's go back to get. I want to do my flowers. Oh, my little turtle. All righty. Let's see who's in here. 
Hi, Julie. Let's see. Did I say good morning to you? Yeah, I think I did. Arlene says he found big clumps of my Siberian irises in the water tower parking lot. The tornado dropped them five blocks away. Arlene. Did you have a tornado? You're going to miss Dee Dee today. One of my neighbors found more of my plants and brought them over. So I'm going to replant them after Mary's stream. My caregiver said that when everything opens up and she feels safe again, she will take me thrifting for craft supplies. Yay! Kangaroo Babe says, I love to watch streams and get contact and inspiration, especially Dee Dee. Thinking of drawing out my pencils and color books to get me started again. That's a good idea. That's an excellent idea. Just do something to get yourself started again. And sometimes, yeah, even watching people work, you know, they get you inspired. They're working away, happy as a clam, just like I am this morning. And you go, oh, I could do that. Oh, I have this. Let me get that out and work on it. And, and I I do that a lot. In fact, maybe too much. I've had to draw back just a little because I've got too much out that I need to get done. Here I am playing with this model magic just because I walked down that aisle in Walmart. I should have kept walking. I walked down the aisle where they keep the craft paint. And it is empty. The, all the craft paint, all the apple barrel paint's gone. Uh, well, not all of it. Some of the glossy stuff was left. <laughs> all the whites and blacks, There's a, I think there was a brown left. I'm going, whoa! I guess paint is, <laughs> is a necessary item when, when, lucky for me, I've got enough. I'm not hurting for paint, but it, it kind of amazed me that it was all gone. I think it's because, I think it's because all the kids are home, you know, and parents want to keep them, and then they're probably not restocking it as much as they normally would. There was no, I didn't see any clerks in the craft aisle. It's probably not their main concern right now. These are pretty, pretty deep. These larger ones have deep impressions. Clams left. Hi, Betsy Curry. Good morning. Janet says, I'm just going to walk Freddie. We'll be back. Okay, Janet. Good morning, Janet. Going to walk Freddy. Must be her little dog. <laughs> I'm just playing, making model magic flowers. We'll put these aside to dry. And then I'll have some flowers to use in my art. I don't think uh, this model magic, gets, it gets dry, but it's still kind of squishy. It's still kind of squishy. Even though it's dry, it's kind of uh, squishy. I got just a little left here. Let's push these out. Come on. They're pretty. They are very pretty.
This one's not flat. want to stick together. I should get out and plant flowers today too, but if it's as windy as it was yesterday, I'm not going to go out and rake up the dirt in the wind. It was really windy here yesterday. It was a good time to to go run errands. I was telling my brother we better go get some plants while we while the, while we can. Oh, it's too early. Oh no, it's almost May. We better get our tomatoes planted. But it was kind of cool here last night. It was kind of cool here last night. I'm going to squish these in. Oops. That may have been the wrong thing to do. Yeah. A few more here. And then I'll be done. Done, done, done. Now I'll have to find a place to put them while they're drying. This would make quite a few. I think I've got some Easter thin ones too that's not a silicone, it's more plastic based, I think. I don't buy this stuff much. I just thought there yesterday and got inspired. I said, I've got some bottle magic at home. I'll get that and we'll do up some flowers. There we go. Take a little of this and put over here. Last ones. And it's not messy. It's not messy. That's what I really like about this. It's not messy. Kids would enjoy doing this. But don't tell YouTube. <laughs> they'll think they'll doing this for the youngsters. This is not a children's stream. I'll get in trouble. I'll demonetize my video. There we go. Alrighty then. Let's get a cardboard. I think I have this. What do I have? I have this piece that came on the scoreboard. We'll just arrange them on here. They like to stick together. Yeah, no sticking together. Not allowed. It'll take a little bit to dry. Um, I, it'll dry to the touch, I think, in 24 hours. But I, I would think you'd want to leave these out for a week or so, maybe even more than that, before you paint them. You paint them. If you paint them while they're still wet, you're locking in the moisture. I 
I'm not in a big hurry for these. I just wanted to I just wanted to get them done. There we go. We baked some a sheet of flowers. Whoops, this one rolled up. Can we flatten him out? Yeah. There we go. There they are. Alrighty, let me put them over to the side. Someplace. Ah, where am I going to put them? Where am I going to put them? Put them up here for now. Alrighty then. My mold, I'll have to find a place to put molds now. I'll probably be getting another one of those sometime. Not in the near future, but I kind of enjoy doing that. Okay, what's next, Mary? Let them stare at your desk. Let's do a sketch. Let's do a sketch. One of the things... Let me zoom out again. Hold on, you're going for a ride. Hold on. Welcome, everybody who's come in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. One of the things that I want to get back to doing is sketching. Do a daily sketch. Let's go back over to the 29th here on my calendar. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Why isn't Dee Dee streaming? Not a tornado. Uh, I think Dee Dee might be streaming. I think that Dee Dee was, her, was uh, Arlene's next door neighbor. And she's not going to watch Dee Dee this morning. She said that she wouldn't be watching Dee Dee. She said she's going to miss... Dee Dee today. She means that she's going to miss watching her because one of her neighbors found plants and brought them, uh, found more of her plants and brought them over. So I'm going to replant them. She must have had some high winds yesterday. He found a big clump of my Siberian irises in the water tower parking lot by the tornado dropped them five blocks away. So Arlene must have got hit by a tornado. We were hit Saturday evening. It was ugly. Oh, wow, Arlene. I'm glad you're okay. I didn't realize that. Janet went for a walk. Becky came in. Julie says, pick flowers. Kangaroo says, I have so many color books, it's hard to pick which one to start on. Oh, my server timed out. Am I still going? Yeah, I'm still going. Mm. Arlene says, just grab one without too much thinking. There will be something gorgeous in every one of them. They're talking about giving kangaroo ideas of what to color. They're saying good morning to Susan. Hi, friend. What is Neo 2? Neo 2s are a watercolor type stick thing. I don't use them much, so I can't. They're kind of like a water soluble. Uh, yeah. Let's go look up Neo 2s. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Get rid of all my notifications. And I'm at French Clown. Yeah, let's get out of it.
Karen, Karen the, the Arch Classic Neo Color 2, water soluble pastels. They're a watercolor, water soluble. They, they're calling them water pastel. I never heard them called pastels before. Come on, go back. Yeah. Let's go to Dick Blick. Crayons. They call them artist crayons. Neo Color 2 artist crayons. Let's see how they describe them. Item specs. Come on. Do -do -do -do. It's a set of 10, a set of 15. Are they giving the price? I want a few product details. <sighs> Why did they do all this stuff to me for? No, I don't want to be on your watercolor. View product details. And then they just give it a, a size. I want a description. They're watercolor bowl crayons is what there are. Yeah, come on. Now it's stuck on the... There it goes. But they look like... They look like that. Oh dear. I think I might have some of those. I don't use them much. I use, uh, if I use anything, I use those oil pastel thingy bobbers. Okay, let's get out of this. I was going to today, when I was saying that, what I want to do is do a daily drawing. Let's get out of this. Beep, beep. Go away. Let's get back into my chat. Arlene says, my friend watched her carport take flight. Oh, no. She said it was freaky. I was a big chicken and hunkered down in my safe place. I wasn't watching, <laughs> wasn't watching it. Jersey says, I have a small set of Neo Color 2s. They are very pigmented and vibrant. I think I have a set, but I haven't used them. I got iced coffee this morning. I tried to make some of that whipped coffee. It didn't work. But I was making it really fast. I don't think I... I, uh, I just made it from memory. I did something wrong. So I just poured it in my coffee and... Drinking really strong coffee this morning. Susan says, remember when we didn't have computers and we got so touchy if they weren't instant? Well, that's what I am with this. This is not the fastest kid on the block, let me tell you. Yeah. This is not the fastest kid on the block. And good morning, Anne. She says, I lived through one tornado. <laughs> yeah, that's what I don't like about... Um, that's what I don't like about spring. Here in Nebraska, it's tornado season. All right. So I want to do a sketch a day. And yesterday I did this older lady. And I was watching her, you know, and on, on the video camera, her eye just looks like kind of a slit here. But in if you look at it in, in real life, it doesn't look so bad. But uh, I was watching my sketch of it yesterday, and I go, what's with her right eye? <laughs> but anyway, Anne suggested, I told this little story about our neighbor boy. Our little neighbor boy rang the doorbell here recently and wanted to sell toilet paper. So I'm just going to kind of sketch him. Um, and it'll be very, very sketchy. I'll just get an idea of what what he might look like he's just a little fella and uh he was holding in his hand some toilet paper a package of toilet paper and we'll put a 
I'll put a row on it in his hand. And we'll put a a little thing coming out. Sort of like that. And now I'm just kind of sketching him here, so he won't he may you know, I may have to refine the sketch as I go because I'm just kind of making this up from memory. His hand's kind of big here. We'll make that a little smaller. And uh, he wanted to sell toilet paper. Let's put another package in his arms here like he's holding, holding on to some here. Can you guys see? I see what you're seeing. It's so hard to see. Let me zoom in just a little here. Bring it down a little. It looks different in my phone above than it does on this tablet. On the tablet, I see more. All right. Let's turn it this way. And then the light's glaring on the tablet. You got me drawing faces, Fran says. Yay! Ah, oh, thank you, Susan. Ooh, what did I do? Did I do something there? I hate when this menu pops up. Have a good day, Fran. Bye. The last face I tried to paint looked spooky. Well, sometimes my faces look spooky, too. You just have to... You just have to keep trying. And the more you do it, the more you, you know, the more, the better you get. Now, this little boy, he doesn't look so little to me here. So, here he is, though. Let's, let's get his face in there. And he's got kind of tassel hair. He's got an ear. Like that. Sort of an, I guess, his. Now I would say he was probably, in, maybe about, his age was probably about, um, hmm. I'd say he's probably about eight or nine years old. So I don't want to make him too tall. And I'm just kind of building up his... His jeans here. Probably about like that, maybe. Except he was barefooted. <laughs> and then we go home and put some shoes on. Those kids don't wear shoes. And I don't like that. If they're going to tear that house down next door, I think I'm going to tell her mom that if her kids come wandering over here, they need to put shoes on because we're tearing that garage down. And if they don't have their shots, they can, they can get hurt. I don't want their kids to get hurt. And I'm just kind of imagining what he might look like here. I've got him a little big. I've got his arms a little big. So I'm trying to... Trying to pare him down a little here. Let's get my other pen out. Now I pushed all that stuff off to the side. He's holding these rolls of toilet paper here. Do you need some toilet paper? No, we're good. And if I just kind of shade in the background here, just to get an idea. 
And of course, you can always re if you get a sketch down, you can always come back and refine it. This doesn't have to be the masterpiece. This doesn't have to be the masterpiece. This is just kind of getting a, a sketchy sketch. And I'm going to put a wagon back here. A little wagon. And in the wagon, I'm going to put some stacks of, of toilet paper. Like he went to his mommy's and raided his mommy's. <laughs> his mommy's hoard. He's selling his mom's hoard. She's got plenty. I thought maybe I could make me some money. Go. Go get me a bicycle or something. We'll put a paper towel roll in there. So here's the wagon here. It's got to have a back wheel. And let's put a roll of toilet paper there. Yeah, something like that, maybe. I think he's, I've got him a little chunkier than what he, what he really is. Now, I'm just drawing this from memory. I'm not drawing, looking at anything. No. Let's give him a little nose. face eyes eye there and a little tassel probably give him a cow lick now see I, I shaded in the back here because I was skinnying him down he's really too fat so I'm just kind of pushing him down a little making him skinnier but that's sort of how it looked now I was standing in the doorway, so he's, let's put, let's put him standing on the front step here. And there's, you know, a sidewalk going down this way. Of course, our sidewalk, well, this sidewalk's pretty good, but our other sidewalks aren't really that great. And let's see, there's kind of a, let's put a flower pot here, even though it's not doesn't have anything in it because the flowers aren't out yet but and the doorway is here go up that way and maybe the other door I'll have would have to come over here something like that and oops, I've kind of got my perspective off here. Oh, I'll put some grass maybe in there. No, oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Welcome on here. kind of a welcome mat. A welcome mat. And let's put a tree out here. Trees don't really aren't they're just beginning our our trees are just beginning to leaf out
Now I'm not wanting to put color on these yet. My idea is just to kind of do a sketchy, a sketchy sketch a day. So I'm I'm turning this background into grass, and it'll also help that little guy pop out a little. Yeah. Yeah. Put the sidewalk going. Back over here is this, the road, I guess. I got grass in there. I guess a road could come more up in there. Make this grass. This is just drawn out of my head. I'm not looking at anything drawing this. So there may be some things that need to be refined, like his arm here. I think I got his arm. He's holding a big bundle of toilet paper. <laughs> now, he had another little friend with him, but I'm not going to try to draw that this morning. His little wagon. I'll put the sidewalk going off this way. grass in here. And this is all it needs to be. It's just like a sketchy sketch to get your eyes, get your, get your visuals down on paper. Oh, oops. I got a sidewalk coin there. Well, all right, well, that's the end of that sidewalk. <laughs> and if I if I color this in too much, I'm going to color in the wagon handle. You don't want to do that. Just kind of get it in there. All righty. Something like that. And then there's sky and what, a house over here. A little neighborhood house over here. Maybe some bushes up in there. Yeah, he's got some more trees in there, tree trunks in there. The neighborhood. And then this could just be doorway. Let's draw some vertical lines. There, there's my... <laughs> well, let's write. Do you need any? Do ya need need some? Need any? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna put. Need any? Question mark. <laughs> yeah. I want to define this a little bit more. Now, see, I could take this sketch and really work it up into a... Uh... And then I said I wasn't going to put any color on this, but let's, let's get out my super tips. Uh, see if I can green up that grass a little in the background. Grass wasn't that green, but it is now. My super tips are getting used. Getting used. I don't know why that doesn't want to color in that gray. Get another green. Let's see how this one works. To tell you, these aren't that juicy anymore. There. Oh, 
Oh, you don't see him except for his head there. There we go. I need to tilt my camera. And my greens. Uh, let's see if I can't give them a red wagon. In there. And his jeans were probably more of a gray than a blue, but I'm going to make them blue. And I'm just going to leave him undone. I'm going to leave the rest undone, I think. That's kind of what I visualized as he came to my door. <laughs> now what I should do is, well, let's sign it. Let me get out my other. Yeah. I get too much stuff on my desk. And then I can't find a darn thing. I saw that other let's use my glue stick back to where I can find it again if I want it. And I thought I had that other one out here. Grr! Excuse me while I growl a little. Well, we'll use the Sharpie. And I think I'll write over in here. Now, let's sign it first. Let's sign it down in here. And today is 429.20. And I'll just write a little, I will, look at, look, I'm back on here. Where am I? I'm not live. There we go. Now I'm live. Arlene says, while mama was at work, I cleaned some of the neighbors for, <laughs> for spending mother, money. Alan mowed and we never told mama where we got the money, but I'm sure she figured it out. What mischief. While Mama was at work, I cleaned, let's see, what else? Uh, my mischief was cleaning, climbing up onto whatever happened to be there, Julie said. Hi, Andrea. Well, I do like Mary, but that wasn't what I was trying to type. I was trying to say that I liked the sketch from yesterday, too. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> she says, I like Mary. <laughs> Susan says, my five older brothers were... Like their own little mischievous gang at Halloween, the cops were quite aware of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Joyce said, I took my dad's shoe shine box and went around the neighborhood without asking. Well, at least it was a shoe shine box, not, not toilet paper. <laughs> Arlene, Lord, I don't know how, but I never had the selling gene. I never either. I was too afraid to talk. Can you believe that? My brother and I would have been trying to sell all Mama's TP stash while she was gone. <laughs> Joyce, the little entrepreneur. Let's see what did Joyce say up here. Susan says, his mom may have not known about this. My brothers would have done this and my mom would have died. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. I was waiting for you to come in. I was waiting for you to come in. I have your happy mail here. I'm going to open it up. Uh, what did Joyce? I was going to see what Joyce did. Did I miss what Joyce did? Julie Joyce. Mary's next door neighbor came selling TP. Yeah, Clam was in here earlier. Clam Bushel on YouTube. 
on uh, not YouTube. Um, well, her YouTube name is Clam Bushel, but she's Cindy Lee on Instagram. Arlene is saying she's got some nice art out on Instagram. There was a new lady in here earlier. She makes torn paper paintings. Oh, cool. Hi, Carla. Good morning, Carla. Arlene says, I guess she figured we were better off working for the neighbors and roaming around town. All right, I'm going to write the little story here. Let's see. Earlier this month, I'll say earlier this month, we have been down, we have been hashtag stay home because we're not really in lockdown here. Uh, in fact, a lot of people were out yesterday. People need to get out and get their sunshine around here. They, they, they get out. <laughs> but uh, we, um, there, a lot of people though, though they did very aware aware of of uh, social distancing, which I appreciated. If you went into Walmart, they had a sign up there saying, "Please stay six space yourself." Uh, six feet away from the, the other person going in the door. And of course they have their little clean cleaner things at the door and you have to wait till they get done cleaning their cart before you can clean yours. Uh, because I'm just going to put of the hidden enemy. I don't know what I mean. Earlier this month, we had been hashtag stay home because of the hidden enemy. Uh, folks have been hoarding. Not so much anymore. I, I noticed there was, I only got one little four pack of toilet paper, but there was plenty of toilet paper on the shelf in Walmart, in our Walmart. Folks have been hoarding. And I'll just write toilet paper, toilet paper, and the store shelves became empty. That was earlier, probably even more like last month, if not so much now. Uh, one day... The doorbell rang. And when I opened it, there was our little neighbor boy. I'll put our little neighbor's neighbor boy. N-E-I-G-H-B-O-R boy holding a package of toilet. I'll put up his his mother, uh, his family's <laughs> toilet paper. He asked me if we needed any. <laughs> and I'm going to put an exclamation point. He was going around the neighborhood trying to make some money <laughs> trying to make some money now I'm gonna end it there <laughs> so I just kind of documented it there and then I'm gonna write on this side I'm gonna write about my shopping trip yesterday so now I'm going to end that sketch. Let's zoom out just a little. A little more here so you can see it a little better. Yep. 
I'm going to, uh, I'm going to open Happy Mail. Our stores are beginning to go back to normal, kind of. Well, you know, it's kind of sad because when I was in Walmart, there were people in there. And, you know, there were people checking out and buying their whatever they buy on the shelf. But as you walk by the nail salon and the pearl optical place and the services, they're closed. And you're thinking, well, I guess they're closed because... You know, get your nails done and the eyes and everything. I guess you have to get a little bit closer. But anyway, I was thinking it's kind of sad that some places can be open. I guess grocery stores need to be open. But you know, it's kind of sad that some places have to close and some places can be open. And some places just close voluntarily. You know, they... they uh, they just closed voluntarily here in Nebraska before that was even the suggestion to do it. Uh, but anyway, there's my sketch for today. What are you guys chatting about? Flip. Uh, hi, Terry. Welcome. To some extent, still praying for a vaccine. Yes. Well, it's going to be a while before we get a legitimate vaccine, I think. That coffee's good. Carla says, I need glasses. I should get me. I just have these Dollar Tree reading glasses, but they help. But I should probably go to a legitimate eye doctor and get some real eyeglasses. Let's open my happy mail from Cheryl. From Cheryl. Happy mail. Look at this. Happy mail. I'm going to take this calendar off my desk before I knock it off. And Penelope, I'm going to put you over here. Look at this. And I don't know, can I put, look what she put on the front? Can you see that on the front? It's a mind map. It's a brain with all this thing going on inside of it. I love it, Cheryl. I love it. I'm going to take that off. But we'll open it on this side and see what's in this package. Cheryl, I just sent you inches. <laughs> I just sent you a little package of inches. What did I get from Cheryl with this big old, big old package here? What's wrong with that picture? Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, she sent me an elegant writer. I see that. An elegant writer. An elegant writer. A calligraphy marker. Thank you, Cheryl. I think these are the kind of elegant writers you mix them with a little water and they bloom out into pretty. And some scrapbook papers. Oh, these are pretty. Come away with me. The joy of the journey. So it's travel related. Oh, they are. Niagara Falls. A map. Polka dots and stripes. And weekly. Oh, Niagara Falls. And Steam, Steamship Company. More maps. Thank you. I'll use that. Graphic 45. Florida Sportsman Gag Order. Fishing. Fishing. Cameras. I suppose those are game cameras to catch. Getting sideways with the tarpoon and snook. 
new directions for sonar. Oh, that's interesting. Yellow perch wear. My brother might enjoy this. Is that why you sent it for my brother? Oh, yeah, that's what she says, my brother. All right, I'll save that out and give it to him. Say that here's a fishing magazine. Oh, look at these tags. Oh, Cheryl, these are cool. Let's look at them here. Some taggy tags. Maps. Oh, wow. These are nice. I'm not sure that... You guys can see the out of map paper. Wow. Look at that. I'm lagging, so if you see me holding this up, wow. Come on, go. I'm frozen now. Come on. Ah, let's refresh. Yeah, it's being laggy this morning. Go to my channel. I'm live. Welcome everybody who's come. Mary, did you get the entries I sent? Did I get Terry's entries? I think I did, Terry. Uh, let me, I'll have to check the happy mail. Uh, I think I did get your entries. I think I showed them one morning. I'll have to go through. I took them all, all over to the other side. Because uh, I needed to get them off of my... Oh, she sent me a wink of Stella. Uh, I had to get them off of my other desk there because it's getting so crowded. Let me check. I think I got everybody's inches except for... Um... Was it yours that I got? I'll have to check, Terry. I don't know. If you sent them, if I didn't get them, I'm sure they're on the way. I think I got entries from everybody except for Sharon Marlowe. And she said she was making mine. One day she sent Pink, uh, Pink Girly in here and said she was working on mine. So I understand. I totally understand. Because I'm so slow at getting things out that... That's the way it goes. Look at this beautiful duct tape. Darice tape. With flowers on it even. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. And what's this? Wanted to share with you. Wanted to share with you to art with. Oh, wow. Wow. Watercolor background by Cheryl, 120. So she's saying, wanted to share with you to art with. So are you wanting me to, to finish this? You remember Mary opening Terry's inches? Yeah, I was thinking I got them, but uh, um, I had put all those things over on my computer desk and it was starting to stack up. So I moved them over on the other side of the room. So, I'm sure they're there, Terry, if Arlene remembers. Hi, Jersey. She says, I know, Joyce. Tell the teacher, work due Saturday, 8 p.m. Email with next week works arrives next Sunday. Beautiful tape. Isn't this pretty? Are you wanting me to work on this? I'm not sure what she's saying. She says, wanted to share with you to art with. Or if... The, if... Hi, Vanessa. Rhonda. I, I think Cheryl's... Uh, there's Cheryl. I'm not sure if maybe she needed to step away. Or she, oh, yes, she says. Okay. Well, we'll save that out. We'll put it over there. And she sent me a wink of Stella. Three of them in there. Now, see, this is something that I would not buy for myself. Wink of Stella brush. The Wink of Stella brush is perfect for writing, adding controlled glitter, and when using with stamp projects, the brush tip produces thick and thin lines, allowing artistic freedom, archival quality, keeping your precious memories. 
I'll have to try those. And she sent me an elegant writer, too. So I'm going to put these over on my... <laughs> my craft bar. You guys, you're so good to me. I'll tell you. I don't know about you guys. And all things grow with love. I think these are the inches. So let's get them out and look at them. Let's get them out. All things grow with love. And she says, Dear Mary, here are the inches and twinchies. Hope you like them. I'm sure I do. I like your Picasso idea. Please stay well in 2020. What a year so far. That is so true. I'm going to turn this envelope upside down so that we can see them better. Here are all. Oh, look at what she's done. You guys, you're good. You're just so good. I'll keep remembering she's got a moon design. Can you see it? Whoops. Uh, where I moved my camera here. Let's. It's hard for me to see what you guys are seeing. Let's get these out. Oh, I'm loving them, Cheryl. Oh, she's got some little hearts in there. Oh, they're wonderful. Put the hearts off to the side here. Let me stand up so I can see what you guys are seeing. Oops. Of course I knock them off. Why wouldn't I? That's what I do. Look at those. Look at those. Aren't those wonderful? Thank you so much, Cheryl. I just love them. I just love them. Wow. Put them back in and I'll put them with the others. I think I've gotten everybody's inches. I'll have to go check. I, I posted on the Fibsville Friends group and then I kind of marked off. I think I've gotten everybody's except for Sharon's. And she said she was working on hers. So I understand. I understand because I'm slow. Let's see what's in here. Here's a heart. I'll keep that out. Well, there's something in here. If you cannot use this as a zine, just toss. Oh, I don't toss anything for your friend. Look at this card. Did you make that card? Oh, wow. Can I read it? I'm going to. Hello, Mary. Been wanting to send this for some time. So here it is. Well, that's how I am. <laughs> I know it's not Christmas, but here is a Christmas book. I'll have to look at that. Also enclosed is a fishing magazine for your brother. I thought he would enjoy it. I'm sure he will. He'll look at it. He enjoys those things. The elegant writer is for you to sketch with after drawing. I hope that you enjoy. I'll try that tomorrow when I sketch. Uh, all for another look. Okay. Also sent two watercolors. And I think she's talking about these to art with. Um, I included a zine. I thought that you enjoy decorating it. Yes, I do. It's crunchy. Crunchy. I thought you might like it. It will probably be me, my first and last one like it. <laughs> I 
I hope you like the Happy Mail. I do. I love the Happy Mail. I gave you a little orange paint. I have extra, so here you go. Thank Mary for all you share. It is wonderful knowing such a lovely person. Well, diddle to you. Diddle to all of you. Happy crafting, much love, and many sweet thoughts and prayers said for you and the others. Your crafty friend, Cheryl. I'm going to keep this out. This will go in happy mail. I'll put it over there. And let's look at this scene. If you cannot use as a gene, just toss it. I'm not tossing anything. I'm not tossing anything. Oh, look. It's a crunchy book. It's a crunchy, crunchy book. I think she had little pieces to put in there. Or maybe those just were part of the card. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it goes like this, it's a zine, it goes like this, so you open it up here, I love it Cheryl, yeah, one, two, three, four, it's good, 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 we'll work on this, I'll keep that out with the watercolor, and here are the inches, Put these over here. I'm going to have to clean this desk off again. And this says, Mary, hug Cheryl, card design, Stacy Evans. This is a card I was going to send, send in January. Well, there you go. You're as fast as I am, maybe even faster. <laughs> what does this say? Some addresses. We won't show those. I'm sure those were put in there by accident. She got some little hearts on it. Look at this. Sometimes you have to take chances. This will go in the fairy book. This will go in the fairy book that Tanya and Lisa are going to do. Yes, it will. Let's open it up. Oh, there's a tag in there. Ah, embrace the journey. I tend to hold things out of focus, out of the happy new year again. I hope you start a new year and start it off to a good start. Some things I've wanted to share for a long time, so enjoy. This card was created as with Stacy by Stacy Evans, Pink Poodle Crafts. I love to share things with people. The fashion magazine is Oh, the fishing magazine is for your brother. I hope that he enjoys it. January 2020. When I saw the books and magazines, I thought of you. Well, this will be nice for that fairy book that Tanya and Lisa are going to do. I'm going to save these and the tags and put them back in here. And... Like I said, I'll probably put that in the fairy book. I do have a fairy book. Uh, I think they're going to do it in May, which is coming up. I didn't do the crunchy book with them because I am so backlogged. So here's, we're going to look at the books. Here's the Ideals Christmas magazine. This will come in handy next, in December. Oh, look, it's, it's stapled which means that it is an older one. I'm trying to see a date. 1954. Wow. Ooh, do I want to cut it up? 1954? That's almost as old as me. Maybe a little younger than me <laughs> by a couple years. Wow, how cool is that? Oh, I love that Santa Claus. Look at him in his workshop. Aw. Dear Santa Claus, today I learned some news that surprised me greatly. It's about my pet Chunky Chipmunk. I haven't seen him lately. And when I asked my mother why he didn't come around, she said, Why? Chipmunks hibernate. He's sleeping underground or in a hollow log somewhere. He'll not wake until spring comes back. But how do I know it's spring? I said. He'll know by the 
Chickmunk Almanac. And then she laughed and shook her head and told me it was time for bed. I can't sleep a wink because it's almost, you know, Santa Claus. And, and think, just think that Runway will sleep right through all Christmas Day. I guess Runaway was his chipmunk. And that's why I'm writing you. Well, you'll know where to find him to ask you to please leave him nuts and cookies and remind him that I'll be waiting for him when his almanac says it's spring again. Thank you. I'm sleepy now. Good night and Merry Christmas. Aww. Aww. Little rabbit. Little snow rabbit down there. It's interesting to see an older issue. I think this is the oldest issue that I'd seen of this Ideals magazine. A Boy's Opinion. I Believe in Santa. A Yuletide Prayer. Angels from the Realms of Glory. Very cool. Thank you, Cheryl. And let's see what this one is. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's all embossed. The Civil War, Decoy and the Yanks. Jackson's Valley Campaign. Oh, it's embossed. Wow. That is cool. Let's see what's in here. Oh, look at these pictures. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow, look at these soldiers of the valley. Oh, it's too bad that they're back to back. Well, that means I won't be cutting them up too soon. Oh, these are wonderful. Oh my, look at those. Oh, wow. I love the embossed around the edges of these picture frames. Wow. Well, here's another one I won't be cutting up too soon. Master of Maps. Look at this old compass. Old writing. This volume is my field, field some sketchbook that I used during the something during the Civil War. Most of the sketches were made on horseback, just as they now appear. Wow. I wish they had had more pictures of them. The Trappings of a Confederate Cavalier. Wow. How interesting. Now, what do you think that these soldiers would think about our hidden enemy today? What would they be thinking? A Cruel Winter's March. Jackson doted on both his wife, Ellie Left, who died in 1854, and his second wife, Anna, who wrote to be married. He luxuriated in the freedom of his home, and his joyfulness would have been incredible to those who saw him only when he put on his official dignity. Wow. What a neat gift, Cheryl. What a neat gift. Look at these watercolors. Or prints. The resort. How cool. I love these photos. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I won't be cutting this up anytime soon. I'm going to take it in set it by my recliner and I'll be reading and I love how embossed this is how cool is that and the paper is going to go on my project card and the watercolor and the zine are staying out I'll be working on them 
maybe we'll get some uh, fussy cut, some glue book stuff and put in here. I don't toss anything. I don't toss anything. I'll have to tell you. All right. Let's put the book over here. All right, let's see what you guys are saying. Oops. You you went you went minimized on me. Susan says most of them didn't live to 30 years old. Disease from disease could have easily we could easily fix today. Oh yeah, most of them from disease that we could have fixed today. She's talking about the what the Civil War folks would have said. Arlene says, someone gifted me some fine liner pens. They have a brush tip, but no brand or anything. These are the best fine line pens I've ever used. Isn't that maddening when you don't know what they are and you love them? <laughs> Aren't those awesome books, Terry? Hi, Trace. By boyfriend. Cheryl says, sorry being asked a question by a boyfriend. Oh, okay. She must have had the... Cheryl, your happy mail arrived. Thank you, Cheryl, for everything. I love it all, and I love your inches. Soldiers in that day were used to all kinds of disease and dirty conditions. I'll bet they were. I'll bet they were. You know, I often think of what, what the folks who came before us, we have it so good sometimes. We just don't realize how good we have it. So what if we have to stay home for a few days, <laughs> a week or two, you know? We've got the internet. We've got things to do. Most of us have food. And uh, if we don't have food, at least here in Nebraska, we can get out. Yeah, there are some inconveniences. We aren't, We most of us are not sick, um, you know? And hopefully the economy will be opening up again soon here. Beautiful word, Cheryl. Andrea says, Mary, you'll have to copy those pics. You know, I need to get my printer set up. I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. <laughs> I get it. I know every way to copy them because the library is closed now. Isn't that horrible? Horrible, horrible. Got a little face there. Let's see. Cheryl, you have some great taste. You'll make beautiful cards. Carrie, I would probably let her sit right there. Let's see, I'm not. Trace is on the phone is on her phone. Hi, Lori Loves Montana. Lori, Lori, morning, Glory. Good morning, good morning. My mom is in the living room because we couldn't bury her yet. Oh, Terry. Hmm. Arlene said, I made the ugliest zine, but it was great fun. It was a paint wipe off page, so it would not fold properly. I filled it with all those stickers I don't like. <laughs> and I'll bet you love that zine, don't you? Uh, you decorate it your way. Lori, Lori, Popori, Susan says. And I call her Lori, Lori, Morning Glory. Lori says, good morning, Mary Gold. I've been lurking, ready to go to work, but wanted to let you know I've been here. She's probably gone now. Gone to work. Have a great day at work, Lori. Andrea says, Terry, everyone heals differently at different rates, but when I lost my mom, it was a tough time for me. Just wanted you to know you're in my prayers. Yes, Terry, you're in, it's not fun losing a family member. It's not fun, and it's even harder when you're close to them, and I'm, I'm thinking Terry was probably close to her mother.
Can we get a close-up of the entries? Did you guys see the entries close-up? I think I held them up. I put them in the baggie. I'm going to be taking all those entries and doing something with them. Okay. I think... Julie said it's getting late for her. She has to get up at 4.30, so... I think she went to bed. Jersey was here. All right, I'm back up to where... Mary, I made the crunchy zine after seeing your wax paper zine. Let's get that crunchy zine out again. Crunchy zine. Oh, that is that wax paper? I think it is. I think it is. You glued it here, didn't you? So I don't want to unglue it. But I think you made wax paper in there, didn't you? That's interesting. That is interesting. Now you got my hands on it. Let's, let's play with it. Let me zoom in a little. Ooh, this red might go in there. These red flowers. Let me let me zoom in a little. That's a little too much. I get the scene uncovered here. There. Let's play with it. Now look, I got this one on tape already. Let's see what I have here. Let's pull a couple of these out. Where's my... Now you got me going. See, you talk about it, and i got to get it out and work with it. Do I have enough to do every page? Let's do the front and the back in this. Adjust my camera here. There we go. To where I can work. This is what fabric washi tape a la Rosemary Morris. Double sided carpet tape. Sometimes it's hard to get the release paper off, but if you work on it, if you work on it, you can get it. Come on. There we go. Let's put this on the back. Go. Well, 
I got red there. I got some. See, this is that carpet tape. You saw me struggle to get this off. But on this piece, I have just about a sixteenth of an inch of fabric going over the edge. And it is so much easier to get my fingernail under there and pull it up. And that is what I think that people who do this double-sided tape should do. <laughs> Just give me a sixteenth of an inch all the way down so I can get my fingernail under it. And it is so much easier to get up. Let's see, what else can I put on there? I've got some gold. Let's just take this off. This was that fabric washi that I did. What, did I do this Friday night? Ooh, there's this one. And there's gold. I don't know if I want to put the Christmas stuff on there. What else? I've got some more red. Let's see. Let's do the gold one here. Right about to there. And I keep saying, if they just leave... Now, this has got about a fourth of an inch... But it's so much easier to pull. Um, well, we don't want to pull it off. Of, we want to pull the release paper off. It's so much easier to get it off. So much easier to take it off. If you just got a little, a little bit of an inch all the way down. Oops, I tore some of your paper off. Oopsie doodle. You didn't hurt it too much. <laughs> I'll put it this way. One, two, three, four. I need four more. Let's do another one of these. Just need a little, just need a little push, a little, a little, uh, a little release. I want to be sure I get the paper and leave the tape on the fabric. Just like that. See, Cheryl, you just got to fling it up a little, and it's just fine. This one's a teeny bit long. I cut off about a half an inch. Works better if I put it that way, and then I can just come in here and I just need two more. Uh, let's do these. Let's do one of these. Did I use my black ones on my black? I think I did.
we go. So that gives it a base. Now, let's save these. We'll put this on my calendar tomorrow. Put that one on my calendar. That's a pretty long strip. Get that back on without untying it? I don't think I can. For your friend and for my friend. Let's see what else I have I can put in there. Now you got me making this zine, Cheryl. You got me making my zine. I don't know if I can find anything in this mess of stuff here. I had them all out, and then I put them all away. Let's dump them all out again. There's a man. Brains. Ooh, I like that. I might cut that one down. Here's a Charlie Chaplin. And a man. And that goes back in there. Some of these are so cool. Some of those are so cool. A car. Victory Zoot Suits. This was a history book that I cut up. Here's Lydia Pinkins Vegetable Compound. Oh, you know what would go good on here? Oh, <laughs> let's put all this back. Sorry, I'm gonna get out my needle craft magazines. I dumped this all out, that was a mistake. Excuse me while I put all this back again. <laughs> I'll try to hurry. I need to go through these and put them on wax paper. Because it's so hard to... I know I got some really cool images in here. But it's so hard to find them when I'm... When I'm blue booking, it's fun just to sort through them. Just to rifle through them. But sometimes I just let them out flat. I should make some of those pages. Maybe tomorrow morning. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll do that. With these. Not this morning. What time is it getting to be? It's almost 7. We'll work on this zine at 7.30. I have to be off at 7.30 because Dee Dee comes on. I don't like to be on while she's on. We're going to get out my Needlecraft magazines. 
They're just right behind my chair. Hold on a minute. Hold the phone. Needle craft bag. Yeah. Okay. Let me grab a hold of them here. Is that all of them? I think so. It's enough of them. Let me zoom out just a little while I'm doing this, because you guys are going to get in your face. It's going to be in your face. Let's pull the zine out. I'm going to talk for news. this there's a beautiful butterfly on there I can't see what you guys are seeing there's a beautiful butterfly on there and then on the back there are some images Let's see. I think I'm going to leave the border because it's inspiring me. four more. I have to be careful where I take them. I can take these. Let's take this whole thing here. Seven. I'm going to do this dog up here. There's eight. I believe I have eight. Now I might come back in for test. Let's see what I have. I got all of those out. Oh, my camera. <laughs> yeah. Come down just a little. There.
Alrighty. I'm going to do torn images here, paper tears. this just a little bit more. We'll put a title or a journal. Well, yeah, let's put it down here. I'm going to tear it just a teeny bit more. Now, I think if I remember right, let's get that off my desk. If I remember right, Where's my palette knife? Why'd it run off to? I was using it. There it is. If I take this glue stick and just kind of scrape some on my on my palette knife on this paper that's a little bit older and kind of spread it that way, it works a lot better. Then if I take my, well, on this it might work. Some of that, some of this paper's so old and brittle. And we're gonna put it on here, just like. Just like so. And then we'll come in with some journaling. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We've got a lady. Oh, I like him. See, Cheryl, you get me going here. You get me going. It's all Cheryl's fault. <laughs> That's all Cheryl's fault. Sue sent Mary Happy Mail the crunchy zine. Sue's sent Mary Happy Mail the crunchy zine was in it. I'm not sure what you mean. Mary, I missed what you were asking. Uh, what was Mary asking? Was that Mary too, or what were, what do you mean, what was Mary asking? Made my day, Mary. What was, um, Cheryl sent the, the uh, happy mail. I'm not sure. Hi, Kimberly, Suze, and Mary. Suze, if anyone wanted a field box, a watercolor, I think. Suze sent Mary happy mail. The crunchy zine was in it. Sue's. Oh, I should just be saying Sue's, comma, sent Mary happy mail and the crunchy zine was in it. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I read it. I read it in a different way than you said it. Will that fit? Yeah. Cheryl sent the Happy Mail, and the Crunchy Zine was in it. And they're asking, what made it crunchy, Suze? It's wax paper. Yeah, see, punctuation is important. It is. Punctuation is important. <laughs> Especially when Mary's reading. Let's see if I can get his hand off of here. 
here. There we go. I think it's wax paper. Wax paper, tissue, and copy paper, Cheryl says. That's what makes it crunchy. She said that she put this together when I made my wax paper zine. There we go. He's going to go on here. Get the little scraps out of the way. He's going to go on here. And I'm still going to do the trick with this, especially where his hand is. The rest I think I could... him over a little can I move you over just a teensy bit put your head on the pillow there we go so yeah All right, let's see what I have here. I have this guy. Ooh, I kind of like that, like that. Got a tear here. Kind of like that. I think I can use my glue stick here. the St. Bernard dog, I have the girl, the lady, the girl, I like her over here, I think, and I'm just tearing these, kind of torn paper, this is out of that Natakwa news that my friend Anna out in California sent me, couple years ago a year or so ago it's been I don't think it was last year I think it was the year before and I enjoy the magazines but I uh, the newspapers but I need to their community newspaper and I need to use them I need to use some of this stuff and what better way than putting it in this scene what better way the torn paper out of here. Yeah, let's put it right in there. Get a little bit more off of the skirt area if I can. There we go. Got it on my fingers. Is it gonna come off? <laughs> Yucky. I might have to go wash my hands. Be careful. 
careful with this. There she is. How that beautiful butterfly. is it 716 I should have this done by 730 shouldn't I most of it yeah I always get involved in doing something <laughs> lots of fun this morning I was gonna work on my lady envelopes I guess they'll get worked on another day. Put that in there like that. got the lady and the dog and the girl so I think I'll put the dog and the girl on this page and the lady on the back I'll put him at the bottom here. Let some of it show. I have to kind of go over my tabletop with a wet cloth. I'll put him right there. The little girl is going to go over here. Let's kind of tear her out. much just a little in here Right in here, I think. Right in there. Right in there. Cheryl said, if you don't like it, throw it away. There's no way I'm throwing away crunchy zine. Okay, last page will be we got scrap on it. This lady reading.
move her over just a teeny bit. Oops. Oh, well, that's the way it was supposed to be. Let's move this a little. There we go. Now, how much time do I have? Ten minutes. I need to... Let's see if I can't do something like this. This one doesn't need much because he's got a lot of emphasis. Maybe bring it up a little like that. Butterfly, I think I'm going to leave the butterfly alone. Oh, St. Bernard dog. Yeah, I do there. Scrap. Now, we need some words. I can find some words here real fast. Uh, happy Fourth of July. Happy Father's Day. Roughing it. Let's go for roughing it. Chapter XXXI, 31, I think. That'll go on the back with that lady reading. I need eight of them. Ruffy Nut. Happy Fourth of July, Silver Radio, Ace Hardware. Books for sales. Don't go and get shot. Summer Potluck. Let's just take the summer pot back. There's two. What's happening? I'm going after words. There's three. Coloma Theater auditions. Extremely hazarded river conditions. Country Cafe. 
I might be able to make two out of that one. Comstock Kids. It's on the back of that. Oh, I can take that. Comstock Kids. And Welcome Summer. Let's get Welcome Summer here. Welcome Summer and Comstock Kids. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more. Summer sized. I'll just take summer sized. I think I got enough now. There. Now let's see what I have. Okay, so she's going to roughing it chapter XXX is going to go on the back here. Right there. So let's put that on the back. I know I want that. Roughing it chapter XXX. And we're going to outline it. this I think is going to be Comstock Kids or Summer Sized Welcome Summer Comstock Kids come on I had more here Old Coloma Editions Theater Editions well let's put Let's put summer sized over here and come stuck kids. No, let's go to this one. I know it doesn't fit on these. Come summer size. Come stuck kids gotta go over here. Like that. Comstock Kids. Right there. I'll put Welcome Summer here on the front. Welcome Summer. Welcome summer, Comstock Kids. What's happening? What's happening? I'm just gonna go here. What's happening? What's my hands are getting sticky. Opening. Summer potluck. 
and summer sized. And I think that'll do it. Summer potluck and summer sized. <laughs> sticky, sticky. Yeah, it's sticky, sticky. I still have one little thing left over. All right, welcome summer. We're going to close that up, put it over here. Welcome summer. Uh, Comstock. Kids. What's happening doesn't really need much outlining. Summer potluck. Summer sized. And roughing it. There's the zine. There's the zine, Cheryl. She needs some glue in there. Is Holly here? Holly with a hug? Holly with a hug? Susan? One, two... Lason High School in Susanville, Holly says. Hi, Holly. Kangaroo babe, like me, I lurk. Hi, Mary, too. I don't think anyone would like a Mary scolding. Uh-oh. Mary, you're doing a group of kindness. Mary would be thrilled. She's, let's see. Mary says, Sus, if you or anybody else would like one PM me. I hope Mary doesn't scold me for giving away my mansions. No, Mary, I would not. What mansions? <laughs> I don't know what mansions you're talking about, but I trust you, Mary. Ah, thank you. Okay, Mary has to go to work, so, and I'm sure Dee Dee is coming on. It's, it's 7.33. So today I did the zine here. We did not get to our Pablo Picasso. We did not get to our envelopes, but we opened Cheryl's Happy Mail, which was good. I worked in my um, sketchy book, and I worked on my calendar. What else did I do? I don't know what else I did. Is that all I did? <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't do a whole lot, did I? Well... But I had fun. Welcome summer here we have. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let me zoom out just a little now. Hold it. So, yep, time to get to planting. Arlene's going to replant some of her flowers that blew away. I didn't realize you had all that wind, Arlene. So you guys have a great day. Go watch Dee Dee. <laughs> Dee Dee Willingham. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Let's see. Uh, this is Wednesday. So tonight, Beck will be on, I believe, at uh, 7 Eastern. Um, I don't know if anything's going on this afternoon. Dee Dee is on now. I'll be on tomorrow morning. So have a great day, everybody. Bye. Thanks for coming.